It turns out that what is really useful isn't simply finding the common factors of two numbers, but finding the greatest common factor. And this can be a little bit trickier, especially if the numbers are large. But we have a technique that will work every single time. And here it is. This is the method for finding the greatest common factor of two numbers. You first find the prime factorization of each number, and then you find the prime factors that are common to both numbers, and then you multiply all of those together, and the result will be the greatest common factor. Now that might sound a little tricky, but it's not too hard, and it, it will be easier to see as an example. So let's do this example, and I'll start off with some pretty simple numbers. Find the greatest common factor of 20 and 30. Okay, we start off by just finding the prime factorization of the two numbers. So I'll do 20 first, and I'll use the continued division. 20 is 2 times 10, and 10 is 2 times 5. Okay, pretty easy. Then do the same thing with the other number, 30. 30 is 2 times 15, and 15 is 3 times 5. Okay, then we list all of those. So 20 is equal to 2 times 2 times 5. And 30 we found is equal to 2 times 3 times 5. Okay, and then what we do is we take this list and that list and we match numbers up. So see the 2 here and the 2 here, those match up. And the 5 and the 5. And that gives me my answer. 2 times 5 will be the answer. And 2 times 5, of course, is 10. And that's it. That is the greatest common factor of 20 and 30. 10 is a factor of 20, and it's also a factor of 30. And it is the largest number th that is the factor of both numbers. Now, of course, that's not the only way to find the greatest common factor, right? We could have simply listed the, the factors. Look at this. 20 is 1. Uh, the factors of 20. 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. And then list the factors of 30. 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15, and 30. You can list all the factors and then you can just see. Look, 10 shows up in both lists and it's the largest number that shows up in both lists. So it's the greatest common factor. So you can always list the factors of a number and find the greatest one to find the greatest common factor. But this can be hard to do, especially if you're dealing with large numbers or numbers that have lots of factors, or large numbers with lots of factors. This technique here, finding the prime factorization, that will work every time, and that's a good technique to know. Again, you find the prime factorization of each number, and then pair up numbers from both lists. Multiply those together, and you get your answer. Here's another, another example. Find the greatest common factor of 36 and 48. Okay, we'll start with 36, and we'll find the prime factorization. Now, you could use a factor tree to do this. I'm doing the continued division just because it's pretty compact on the page, but it, however you want to do it is fine. 36 is 2 times 18, and 18 is 2 times 9 and 9 is 3 times 3. And then do the same thing with 48. 48 is 2 times 24. 24 is 2 times 12. 12 is 2 times 6. And 6 is 2 times 3. Okay, then let's write each of those. 36 is 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. And 48, there's four twos multiplied together times 3. And then we pair up here. This 2 can pair up with this 2. And this 2 can pair up with this 2. Now we can't pair this 2 up with any of these because these are already taken. 
So these two twos here get left out of our answer. But this three down here can pair up with one of these guys, not both of them, but that's it. That's all the pairing up we can do. So that's the answer, two times two times three. And two times two times three is 12. And you're done. 12, we now know, is a factor of 36 and a factor of 48. And it is the greatest common factor. It's the largest number that both of those numbers have as factors. And one more example. I want to show you that this technique also works with three numbers or more. So here we're told to find the common factor of 12, 24, and 30. So we find the prime factorization of each one. 12 is 2 times 6, and 6 is 2 times 3. And then 24, 24 is 2 times 12. 12 is 2 times 6, and 6 is 2 times 3, and then 30. 30 is 2 times 15. 15 is 3 times 5. Okay, now I'll write each of those down. 12 was 2 times 2 times 3, so let's write 2 times 2 times 3. 3. 24 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. And 30 is 2 times 3 times 5. Now what we need to do is match up numbers, find numbers that are common to all three lists here. So 2 shows up here, here, and here. And then 3 3 shows up here, here, and here. And then see this 2? This 2 shows up here and here, but there are no more 2's in, the, uh, in the, the other list here. So this is it. We're done. 2 and 3. 2 times 3 is equal to 6. 6 is the answer. 6 is a factor of all three of those numbers, and it is the greatest common factor of all three of those numbers.